have uh, a better friend in the world, uh, as well as the Asia-Pacific region, than Australia. Uh, they are a treaty ally. Uh, we cooperate on a whole range of issues. Uh, historically, uh, there hasn't been uh, a fight that the United States was in that uh, Australia wasn't standing uh, shoulder to shoulder with us. And uh, most recently in Afghanistan, uh, Australian uh, troops have made enormous contributions and made uh, enormous sacrifices, and we're very grateful uh, to them for that. Uh, we discussed the security cooperation uh, that uh, is continuing to deepen between uh, our, our two nations uh, as treaty allies. Uh, in addition to uh, the Marines that are now in Darwin uh, and the rotations that have been established, uh, we actually have uh, arrived at uh, additional agreements uh, around force postures that will enhance the bilateral cooperation between uh, our militaries uh, and give us uh, additional reach uh, throughout uh, this very important part of the world, and we're grateful for the cooperation there. Uh, I should note that Australia, uh, under uh, the Prime Minister's leadership, uh, is increasing its defense budget, even under tough times, uh, recognizing that uh, we all have to make sure that we're doing our fair share to help maintain uh, global order and security. Uh, we had an opportunity to discuss uh, the strong commercial ties between our two countries, and both of us uh, have been very invested in trying to bring the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the TPP, uh, to uh, a successful outcome. Uh, negotiations continue, uh, but Australia has been a very constructive partner in that process, and we both agree that uh, not only uh, can this agreement help to bring about jobs uh, and growth for uh, our uh, respective populations, but it will also help establish uh, the kinds of norms uh, and, and uh, free market uh, principles uh, throughout the region that will uh, be important for our long-term uh, prosperity. The United States and Australia have uh, enormous trade relationships with China, and we both agree that uh, it's important to uh, continue to see China uh, prosper and rise. Uh, but what's also important is that as China uh, emerges uh, as uh, th this great world power, that it also uh, is helping to reinforce and abide by uh, basic international law and norms. Uh, thanked the Australians for joining with us and being firm with the Russians uh, about uh, their need to uh, abide by international law. and the application of sanctions uh, and other consequences when they do not. Uh, we discussed uh, the situation in the Middle East uh, and obviously this, uh, the concerns that we have around Iraq and Syria. Uh, both our countries are potentially threatened by uh, jihadists and freedom fighters, as they call them, that are going into Syria, getting trained uh, in terrorist tactics, and then potentially uh, coming back to our countries. Uh, and could end up uh, being a, a significant threat to our homeland as well. Uh, and we also had an opportunity to talk about North Korea uh, and the continuing threat there and the importance for us to maintain uh, vigilance, uh, including additional coordination around uh, protection uh, from potential missile uh, strikes from uh, North Korea. Uh, finally, I've uh, indicated to the Prime Minister that I'm very much looking forward to uh, visiting uh, Australia, uh, one of my favorite countries to visit, uh, 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 for the G20, and uh, assured him that we want to cooperate in any ways that we can to ensure that uh, Australia's uh, renowned hospitality uh, is also coupled with uh, a very productive uh, set of G20 meetings. Uh, to talk about global growth. So uh, I think that uh, the Prime Minister uh, and I uh, share uh, a whole range of uh, uh, concerns, but we also see a whole range of opportunities out there uh, for increased cooperation. And uh, I'm, I'm very glad that uh, he's had, uh, had the chance to, to come by today and, uh, uh, and, uh, and, and have a very productive day. So thank you, Tom.